explain to me why it is more noble to kill 10,000 men in battle than a dozen at dinner. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Welcome to my Game of Thrones Season 4 preview for Tywin Lannister, the true King of Westeros and the greatest joy vampire you will ever meet. I dare you to try and be happy around him. Just look at that face. I also want to say a big thank you to you guys for subscribing. I'm getting ready to hit 40,000 subscribers and I'm in the middle of a Doctor Who giveaway. I'll have information about that in the description below. On to business. So let's talk about how Tywin's character is developing in Season 4 as well as my top 5 worst Tywin Lannister moments. So if you've never seen any of my Game of Thrones previews before or you're finding me for the first time, spoilers for everything in books 1 through 3 and minor spoilers for book 4. So Tywin Lannister is one of the greatest psychopathic narcissists that I've ever seen in fantasy literature. He is a family man and is capable of human emotion. He did love his dead wife at one point, but his children are really only pawns to him on the show. I'm talking about Cersei, Jaime, and Tyrion. And on top of that, if it was even possible, he cares about Tyrion even less. If he could, he would totally get rid of him, but because he's a Lannister, because he carries the Lannister name, he won't kill him. In that final scene with Tyrion and Tywin at the end of season 3, you really get the sense that Tywin just wants him to go away, just wants him to be dead. So in season 4, he is going to get an excuse to get rid of Tyrion for good. Because Tyrion gets caught up in a super spoilery event during season 4, Tywin kind of sees that as an opportunity to get rid of him. He doesn't really care if Tyrion is guilty or not, but we don't have any POV chapters so it's hard to know exactly what he's thinking but mostly it's just an excuse to get rid of Tyrion. One thing that will probably change about Tywin in season four is all the extra scenes they'll shoot that weren't originally in the books. So Charles Dance is an amazing actor. So that scene in season three at the end with Tyrion and Tywin was actually mostly improvised. So we're gonna get a lot more scenes like that in season four with Tywin and other characters. So any shippers out there holding out hope for the Queen of Thorns, we might get to see some more awesome Queen of Thorns versus Tywin scenes. One of the great things about A Song of Ice and Fire and Game of Thrones, the show is, is that Bullies never ultimately win. People always get their comeuppance. Unfortunately, a lot of good people get caught up in that too. So there will be some revenge had upon Tywin eventually, but I don't think it'll go down exactly the way it does in the book. So if you've read the book, try not to spoil it too much in the comments. They're probably going to add a bunch of scenes, like I said, because Charles Dance is just an amazing actor and they let him improvise a little bit. But now, time for my top five worst Tywin Lannister moments. Number five, the killing of the last of the Targaryens or at least he thought the last of the Targaryens. Tywin Lannister was actually responsible for killing Prince Rhaegar, Princess Elia of Dorne, and their children during Robert's Rebellion. But the Red Viper is Elia of Dorne's sister, and he will be in King's Landing in season four trying to find out who killed his sister. Number four, letting the Bloody Mummers burn the Riverlands. So during the War of the Five Kings, after Jaime had been captured, he ordered the Bloody Mummers, also known as the Brave Companions, also known as Locke on the show, to raise the Riverlands. So they took up in Harrenhal. So when you saw all those Harrenhal scenes in season two, those were the Bloody Mummers. Locke is actually the one that ended up cutting Jaime's hand off, so you can consider that karmic retribution against Tywin. Number three, the Reigns of Castamere. So this refers to an event and a song based on that event. When Tywin was young, House Rain and House Tarbeck formed a rebellion against their liege lord, Tywin's father. Tywin responded by killing both of their families, everyone in all their families, and burning their houses down. So it was so infamous that everyone in Westeros turned it into a song called The Reigns of Castamere. That song is actually used on the show anytime a Lannister is in the scene, so it actually became the Lannister's theme song. Number two, Tyrion's first wife. So Tyrion married a commoner when he was a teenager. He had self-esteem problems, a few more than most teenagers I imagine. So when he fell in love with someone, they got married instantly. After Tywin found out, he got rid of her, then lied to Tyrion, telling him that he paid her as a prostitute to marry him. Tyrion swore revenge, so in season four, he's going to try and get that revenge. And my number one, best, worst Tywin Lannister moment, the Red Wedding. So Tywin Lannister is directly responsible for the Red Wedding. He convinced Walder Frey to perpetrate the event in exchange for favor. So during the War of the Five Kings, the Lannisters and the Freys were enemies, but Tywin Lannister said that if Walder Frey killed all the Starks and their entire army, that he would basically forgive all of that. So you can also think of the Red Wedding as like a sequel to the Reigns of Castamere. It was also the tune that started playing when the slaughter started. But let me know in the comments, what are your favorite worst Tywin Lannister moments? And don't forget, the gore continues tonight with The Walking Dead. I'll be posting that video right after the episode airs. Be sure to subscribe to get it. The freaking governor is back and it's gonna get crazy. And as always, be sure to let me know which Game of Thrones character you want to talk about next. Right now, click here to get my Season 4 preview for Tyrion, and click here to get that new Walking Dead video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives!